free. All right. Three, two, one. We're debt free. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. Really well done. That is serious fun. Brandy is with us. Brandy is in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Brandy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Oh, um, you're so deserving. Let me say that. But um, I am a single mom who has just finished baby step three, and I'm struggling with how to really balance four, five, and six together. Um, my son is 13, so college is closer than I wish, and um, I'm only 32, so I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should be focused more on college than on retirement, and then I also struggle with if I'm spending the next five years saving for college, when do I get to start paying extra on my home? I just feel like I can't wrap my mind around doing all of these right now. Okay. Well, we've given you a guideline, and the guideline is 15% of your income going into retirement. Mm -hmm. It's baby step four. Above that, we're going to fund college. And if there's anything left, we're going to pay baby step six down on your house. So with a 13-year-old as a single mom, I'm going to guess and say when we get into the numbers that you're probably not paying anything extra on your home until we get him in and through college. And then you'll be able to pay extra on your home uh, unless something is different here. So what is your household income? Um, right around 50. Okay. All right. And so if you save 15%, you can, with no debt, except your house, uh, do you own a home? Yes. And what is your house payment? My house payment is 700 Excellent. Excellent. Good job. You've done a great job. Thanks. Now, Now, you're going to put 15% of your income away, which is $7,500 a year, going into Roth IRAs, Roth 401ks that match, that kind of thing, into good growth stock mutual funds, just like I've taught you, and you already knew that, right? But that's a little scary because we're probably not going to have enough to pay for 100% of his school easily. But we will have enough to give him some because you got five years to save. And so if you save $5,000 a year, that's $25,000. That's about half of what he'll probably need, a little less than half, depending on where he goes and what he spends and so forth, okay? So what that tells me is Mr. 13-year-old's got some work to do. All right. And by the way, Brandy, let me help you with this. If you choose or can't, either one, pay for your child's college education, you are not a child abuser. Right. You are not a bad parent, and you have not failed. Right. I know wealthy people who won't pay a dime on their kids' education mm -hmm. because they've chosen as a part of their value system to do that. Now, we chose to pay for our kids, and I'm okay with you getting aggressive above your 7500 going into retirement, and let's lean into college, and let's help him go to college. I'm with that. But Mr. 13-year-old's got some work to do. It's called grades. He's got to do his studying now. Because the mm -hmm. stuff, the decisions he makes in the books today is going to affect the number of scholarships he gets five years from now. And so he's got to work. He's got to work his little butt off. And, yeah, and then, he's a great student. Good, good. Because he's going to need to be. He's going to need to get some scholarships, and some of those will be helped if he's on the honor roll or he's got really, really good grades or whatever. And uh, and, and he needs to be a uh, a model citizen from a citizenship standpoint. What's he doing in the community? Um, is he on the mission field as a Christian, or is he, uh, uh, I mean, did he go on a missions trip? Can he no, put that on his resume that he applies and does, you know, does an essay to ask for one of these scholarships, or is he working in the 4-H or whatever? I don't know. What's he doing out there that indicates he's a citizen and a student? Those are the things that will help him get a myriad of scholarships if he applies for them. That's the next thing. Not only has he got to get his work done in the books, he's got to begin in his junior and senior year to apply for a ton of scholarship money. And there's a ton of it out there, but you get turned down for most of it, so you got to go, 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 go. Uh, oh, guess what? He's going to be working while he's in college. Oh, guess what? That won't hurt him. Right. Did you work when you were in school? I did. So did I. <laughs> 